Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm out here cleaning up the garage and things. It's a beautiful day. Um, getting a lot done. Got all my camping gear and all that stuff organized. Uh, I still got a ways to go. You know, there's a lot of different things. Part of cleaning up, look at her, she's ready. Part of cleaning up anything is uh, finishing up some old projects that I've had lying around. So I've got my compost bin outside and uh, it's starting to get pretty big. I, you know, been adding to it. Springtime is coming. Um, need a way to, to turn it over. So I found one of these at the local uh, thrift store and uh, picked it up for, I think I gave $8 for it. Needs a handle. Looked everywhere. Can't find a curved handle. Don't feel like ordering one. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it off here. I got it all marked out. I'm going to cut this off and fit this straight handle. Uh, this is for a shovel. So, I'm going to fit this one in there. And uh, hopefully that will work. If not, well, I'm out $8 and a shovel handle. So... Uh, let's see what we do, I, you know, let's see what happens once I get in there. So the good thing is that when I cut that off, I didn't hit the tang for the uh, uh, the actual pitchfork itself. So I'm still in just wood, but now I need to get that wood out of there. So I think I'm going to turn it up on in, try drilling that out, and see what happens. So there's nothing like drilling blind into a piece of wood where I know there's going to be another piece of metal in there. Um, that's why we have our old drill bits that we don't care about. So... The idea is that I'm going to drill in here with a bladed bit. And hopefully not mess too many things up in the process. Right, do I get greedy and do the whole thing or maybe just take my chances with one smaller and then I can always chisel out some of that other stuff? I don't know. I'm going to try to do the majority of it. Some metal. Can't really see down in there. So you can't really see it, but what, what I'm looking at down there is there's a uh, it's just a square tang from this here that goes to about right there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some smaller drill bits and try to just drill around it. And then hopefully that loosens it up enough to where I can, you know, get that out of there. Again, to the old drill bits. All right, so this is just a quarter inch bit. Um... Again, if you ever upgrade your bits or anything like that, or find some old ones at a yard sale or something, always hang on to them for this situation because they can twist, they can snap. Uh, you never really know what to expect when you're going down into 
a piece of wood where you know that there's going to be some metal down in there. Right, and it's just wood too, so you don't need a big fancy bit. there now you can see a little focus what I've got going on down there so I'm just drilling out around it now I think I can actually get a punch and knock this out so let's see what happens So now the important thing is, is that when this drops out, you know, you got to make sure you get your safety shoes on. So, all right, I'm ready. All right, I got a punch. So I'm just going to try to knock that out and see, see what happens. So there it is. All right, got it out. Now I just got to get that into the end of that other handle. So let's see how we're going to do that. All right, so I got everything all cleaned up. And actually, what I think I'm going to do is I went ahead and cut this down. And I'm going to make this like a little short, stubby pitchfork. <coughs> Again, I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not, uh, you know, pitching hay or anything. I'm just trying to turn over a compost bin. Um, and I think this will probably work the best out there. If it doesn't, I mean, uh, I'll just put another handle on it. So let's go ahead and see how I'm going to do that. Uh, the plan here, I'm going to take my spoke shave. And I'm just going to shave this down just a little bit, just give a little bit of a taper. And then um, I'll, I'll notch it. I'm gonna notch it for this here. And then I'll drill a hole and, you know, hopefully, hopefully it holds up. I mean, I could always put a band or something, a metal band around this. Um, we'll see, we'll see. So this spoke shave here that I have, this is actually a Amazon, look, it even says it. <laughs> Amazon Basics spoke shave. Where is it? I think it's supposed to mimic the uh, the Stanley 151. Um, it's it's really, I don't know, it's, it's, it's not that bad. Uh, I have noticed that while I use it, it does want to catch shavings inside here, like it doesn't want to kick them out or something. But it's nice. It, it came nice and flat. Uh, no burrs or anything in the in the blade. Um, no paint on the bottom that I had to remove. So 
I think it's gonna work out. I think it was like thirteen dollars or something delivered. <laughs> so you can't beat that. All right, let's see if I have that adjusted there. Ooh. Moving on me. It seems like handle companies out there, they always want to lacquer their stuff. And, and maybe there is a benefit to it for some people in some applications. Uh, you know, oily situations, maybe glove situations, but I found that a nice, you know, wood, uh, maybe some linseed oil or something. You know, it always works out really nice. All right. Let's turn that around here. Get the other side. Those first couple bites, you know, right there on that just wants to wants to skip on you.
this notched. <coughs> it's not going to win any beauty contest or anything, but that's the story of my life. I knew from a very young age that I wasn't a very pretty person, so had to get smart. All right. Win them with your wits if you can't win them with your looks. Uh, in case you didn't see that, I just took a very precise measurement right in the middle. See how we came out. So, right, notch isn't bad. Dead center. See if I can get this in there without splitting the handle. All righty. Looky there, it's not pretty, like I said, but I think it'll work. You know, I can drill right through here if I want, put a bolt or something. All right, I'm doing this out of necessity. I'm not trying to win any contest or anything. I think I'm gonna just leave it like that. I think I'm gonna try it like that, and then and then if I need to, I will. I'll I'll, I'll put a bolt in right there, but we'll see how this thing works. <laughs> 